If your Samsung Solar Cell 1 remote has stopped functioning, this video will help you troubleshoot it to see what the issue could be. The first thing to test is to see if the remote is actually charged and working. So if you get your phone camera, you should be able to point it at the phone's camera and you'll see a little flash. This little flash shows that the infrared's working. If it wasn't working, it could be because the battery in the remote is flat. These ones here are either charged by solar or by USB-C. If it has been sitting maybe under your couch for a little while or in a dark room, it may need a jump start, so you'd use the USB-C charger. Plug it in, and you'll see the red light at the top indicate that it's charging. If you want to use the solar method, you'll have to make sure it's in a bright space in the sun where it's all lit up. The next issue that could be happening is that it's not actually paired to your TV. So there's a special method to actually pair it to the TV. First you turn on your TV, you point the remote at your TV, then you press and hold simultaneously the back button and the pause and play button simultaneously and then release it once you see a message on your TV. Now this should have connected to your TV and one of those solutions should have helped out. Thanks for watching.